Hey guys, how's it going? Nick here. And I have been seeing a lot of players, new and old, asking other players how to earn caps quickly in Fallout 76. I wanted to share with you guys the way that I have been earning caps in game. The vendors around West Virginia have a shared cap pool of 1,400 caps. This means that no matter which vendor you sell to, they will have the same amount and you can only earn 1,400 caps per day from them. This might seem like a slow climb to reach the max cap stash of 25k, but if you play every day to do the dailies, you can add this to your list of daily challenges, and my method should take minimal time and effort. I want to preface this by saying that in order for this method to work, you should be near the end game of Fallout 76, or at least be able to handle enemies that are over level 40. You can choose to do this solo or with a group of friends. For this method, you are going to want to fast travel to Harper's Ferry. This is a location deep within the mire, and it has a lot of enemies to loot. You want to make sure that your inventory is fairly empty, and you have your high-capacity backpack equipped from the Pioneer Scout quest line. Now, the backpack isn't necessarily a requirement, but if you're looking to get it done as quickly as possible, you're going to want to have the most capacity possible to hold your items. Harper's Ferry usually spawns super mutants or the occasional Scorched. This means that most of the enemies you come across is carrying some kind of weapon. Once you travel there, you simply run through the entirety of the location, making sure to kill every enemy you come across. Make sure to loot every weapon that drops from these guys. You want to only pick up the weapons to maximize how much you can carry. All that other junk will be unnecessary weight. Super mutants also have a chance to drop a small amount of caps on their body, which may not seem like much, but if you're running this every day, it certainly adds up or at least pays for your fast travel costs when you're done. While looting the corpses, you want to keep an eye out for assault rifle variants as they are the most valuable to sell. Avoid picking up any boards or sledgehammers as they are heavier and the return on investment isn't worth it. You also want to watch out when you enter the middle part of this location. There are three guaranteed machine gun turret spawns, and they are usually pretty powerful. If you're a melee build, you want to carry a gun with you to take them out from a safe distance to avoid any unwanted deaths. <laughs> This location has an added bonus of having a Free States vendor there, so even if you get over encumbered, you don't have to leave behind any valuable weapons. You can lug your valuables over and start selling right away. Make sure you have the Hard Bargain perk card equipped from the Charisma category, and you can easily earn about 400 to 800 caps per run. Once you're finished, it's just as simple as server hopping and repeating until you have completely drained the vendor of its daily cap amount. This normally takes me about 30 minutes in total to finish, and it also grants a lot of EXP if that's what you're looking for. Now, this technically can be accomplished at any locations that spawn super mutants, such as West Tech Research Center, but with no vendor bots at many of these locations, it makes it harder to take everything with you to sell. You'll end up running out of space and have to spend unnecessary time clearing space to fast travel, and this is about efficiency. Harper's Ferry I've found to be the most quickest way to get your cap making out of the way so you can spend the rest of your day completing quests or events. While doing this method daily, you can reach the max cap pool in about 17 days. This may seem daunting at first, but it takes little time and effort to accomplish this every day, so before you know it, you have a bunch of extra money you didn't have before. If you're like me, where you want to purchase a lot of god roll weapons from other players, or if you're planning to own every plan in the game, you're going to want to have a lot of capital. And any way to get that faster is a plus. If you are new to the game and don't have access to this area yet, you could save up all your extra meat from killing creatures in the game. Just cook it and sell it back for a pretty decent profit. Glowing meat is plentiful and offers the best return on caps. Sure, this takes wood from your personal stash, and you run the risk of your precious food spoiling, but if you start early, fresh out of the vault, and you keep doing this every day, you'll find yourself with a lot of extra cash to carry you through the game. 
that's going to do it for this video, guys. I know this might seem like obvious knowledge to some, but I wanted to start making videos for all the fresh faces pouring out of Vault 76. It's been amazing after the free week seeing all these new players excited about joining us on this journey. And if I had known what I had known at the beginning of the game, I would have had a much easier time. I want to thank you all for checking out and getting this far. If this video was helpful for you, please be sure to give it a like and comment below what methods you are using to earn caps in the game. There are a lot of players eager to learn, and I am interested in continuing this conversation down there. Share this video with your friends and new players if you found it useful. And also, please be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more helpful tip videos that you may not know about, and this is the easiest way to stay in the loop. I also have a Discord server for Fallout 76. We are over 1,000 members strong, and if you are looking for players to play with, trade, or continuing the Fallout 76 discussion, that is also a great place to start. This has been Nick Aru. Have a great day.